Ms. Smith, you and your daughter have opened two cases today. You state that after your son Travis's sudden death, two women came forward claiming your son fathered a child with each of them. You have paternity doubts and say you need today's results before you become emotionally attached to these children. Ms. Hicks, you say the Smith family has a personal vendetta against you. Yes. And that is the only reason why they're denying your three-year-old son, Jakari. Ms. Laster, you testify that you are heartbroken that the Smith family is denying your four-year-old son, Malachi. Yes. So I would like to start with you, Ms. Hicks. Ms. Laster, you may be seated. So, Ms. Smith, you and your mom say Ms. Hicks just popped up after Travis's death. Tell the court how that happened. Yes, Your Honor. The day of my brother passing, the family had came over to the house and then we heard a knock on the door. It was Brittany. She popped up like a Lies. pop tart. She popped up like a pop tart. Yeah, big and pregnant. Lies. Big and lies, pregnant. Lies, lies, lies. Yes, and she said she was pregnant with my brother's baby. And so what was your response? I was shocked, really, because she had never been around the family, never came to us once Girl, and said that she was pregnant. Girl, you at your house with him. Never was at, at my house. At your house never. with him. So she popped up, but you knew her. I knew her because she used to live next door to me, but never being with my brother. Ms. Hicks, how far along were you when you showed up at Miss Smith's house? I was in my second trimester. So why wouldn't she come around in her first trimester? Because we don't like each then. other. So when you got pregnant, did you tell Travis? Yes. And when I told Travis, Travis was so happy and he went back on the time, he told me he didn't even need a DNA. I said, we could do DNA through me being pregnant from them poking my belly button. He said, no, nah, that's cool. We're fine. Everything was okay. Then he asked me to be with him and I said, I didn't want to be with him. I want to pursue other measures. And that's when he said, the reason I wanted to pursue other measures because my baby was not his because she spoon fed him. First of, first of all, Your Honor, my brother is a grown man. If he wanted to mess with her, it's nothing that I could have said to stop that. And you so hated that it. right there is irrelevant to me. So I really don't care about what you you're was talking, talking about. The whole that, ordeal though. is about and you your talked about my child. And okay. If, and if he is my brother's, I am a family person. All <laughs> the children come to me. So I mean, it doesn't matter if I don't like her. She don't like me. It doesn't really matter because if that's. <laughs> but Miss Smith, I want to know: day, Did your brother ever tell you or say no. anything about no, Miss Hicks being pregnant? No, ma'am. Never once. I don't know where she get all this making up story. From I, don't, I don't understand. My brother was dead and gr gone, dead and gone. When she came to the house and said she was you pregnant. You was on the phone and invited me over. Okay. Be real. You don't know what was going on. Why you ain't stepped to me? Um, first of all, you're gonna talk to me correctly. But you don't okay, have, let's get some order. But you don't have my talent. Yeah, like, let's, 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 get, let's, get, let's get some order. Get real. Hold on. I need to ask some questions and I need to get some answers to the questions. Miss Smith, is it your testimony? You are aware of Miss Hicks, but you were never aware that she was having a sexual relationship with your brother. No, and before my brother passed, he was like she was pregnant. She was going around saying that was his baby. He did a happy dance in the kitchen. I was talking about that was none of his baby. Right there. So what she's talking about, he what? was so happy. Would I do that? But he her. did. So wait, he did mention she, she was, was pregnant. pregnant. And she had it going around but saying it was my brother. You didn't and know. then first of all, my brother was in a three-year relationship with someone else. Not with Brittany. Once he did the happy dance and said, It's not my baby, did you say to him, Oh, are you sleeping with Brittany? Could it have been your baby? I asked him that and he said no. Oh. He said no. Miss Hicks, do you remember Miss Smith saying, I will be there for you? Let me know when the baby's born. She started out like that until she got around this mutual friend and there was so much negativity going on. And I just was like, I cut it off. So I even said, you know what? I don't want to deal with the sister. And I sent the mutual friend to ask for the mother information. But my... <laughs> and and not on. once <laughs> did nobody come back to me. <laughs> Hold on. Just take a breath. Take a breath. You can do it. I try. I really try. I asked my friend, I said, please go to the mother because I never really got a chance to sit and talk to her because she was so distraught when she came in off her flight. Nobody never got back to me then. You never heard from Travis's mother. Right. Okay. So you admit you disappeared. Yes, I cut off ties to keep from arguing. I did not want to feel like I was tying somebody back. So, Miss Smith, I want to know from you, 
When is the next time you heard from Miss Hicks? I didn't see her until the parade. And that's when she said, here go Jakari. And Jakari was like almost, I think he was one. Oh, so you just ran into her at a parade. At the parade, yes, ma'am. And so when you t- talked, she said, and there's Jakari. Yes, and she even brought, J- she even brought Jakari by the house. When you look at the pool. dates of when Jakari would have been conceived around the time, there is evidence that she is with another person she in a relationship. Guy. Yes, ma'am. Were you Miss Hicks? Yes and no. Let me be clear. We had a relationship, but last time that we had relations where I was cordial with the guy she's seen on Facebook was actually December What's cordial 18th. mean? Oh, we had sex. <laughs> I was just trying Jacora to say that. looks nice. like him. Jacor looks like this. So oh, I have a type. I, I didn't know that's what being cordial meant now. Mm-hmm. Brand new. The meaning has changed. Yes. Brand yeah. new. Right. <laughs> yes. So I had sex with the other guy December 18th, 2014. And then he went away. I just was such in an emotional state of me being pregnant. I lost my friend. Like, we were friends first. So it hit different versus someone who just was having sex. We've been friends since I was five, you know? So to me, it, it, I had so much emotions going on. Miss Hicks, you may take a seat. Miss Laster, please stand and step up to the podium. So, Ms. Smith, we've heard about the other case now, and I'd like for you to explain to me how you heard Ms. Laster was pregnant with your brother's child. Well, LaMonica, she has a baby... She has two older kids that belongs to Travis. Okay. Yes. So, they come over, like, every other weekend or whatever. They they can call... Pick up the phone and call and say, Auntie, I want to come over. They're welcome to come over any time. I love them. I love them to death. And then she came after the fact my brother had none passed. And she say, can Malachi stay tonight? You want to keep your nephew? And I just was looking crazy like my nephew. I said, okay, you know, because I'm thinking, you know, because then my nieces, you know, I'm going to claim him as my nephew. Come on, he can stay tonight too. And then she was like, this really could be your brother's child. So I was like, oh. Oh, wait a minute. So, she had Malachi. Yeah, she had Malachi. And you knew Malachi existed. Yeah, I knew Malachi did existed. Because the older two children are your, uh... Um, nieces. Nieces. Yes. So, for three years, you'd pick up your nieces, they come over and hang out with you, and all this time, this little boy Malachi was there, and you never knew he potentially could be your nephew? No. Malachi came about. We was not together. He came back in town. Um, around December 2000, the end of 2013, beginning of 14, um, we tried to start back dating or whatever, and we were having sex, usually, as usual. That was in January, and my ex and I had sex the following month in February. So, that's where you get the two. So, who did you tell when you found out you were pregnant with Malachi? Well, for as him being a dad, really no one. I didn't tell anybody. I, I had You a... didn't tell the other guy? Oh, well, of course he knew. Um, but I was, like, more so to myself at that time. So, yeah, I didn't tell really where... nobody. Well, when you were pregnant, where was Travis? Oh, he was somewhere dating somebody. <laughs> yes. I don't know. And see, Travis never came to me and told me Malachi could be his neither. Did Travis know? Yeah, he knew. When I got pregnant and he found out I was pregnant, he was like, oh, that's my baby. And I was like, nah, you know, uh-uh. We ain't doing that. We ain't doing that again. Miss Smith, Grandma, do you, you haven't built a bond with Malachi, or you have? I didn't even know who Malachi was. I'm just... Yesterday was the first time I even touched that child. So yesterday was the first time you ever seen him in person? Not until yesterday. In four years? In four years. I never knew nothing about him. <laughs> oh, that's precious. So, Miss Laster, I don't get it. I don't get it. You have the two other children. Yes. They love them. They accept them. They spend time with them. What's a third? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right, Your Honor. But it was, like I said, it was just something really emotional for me. And I just didn't want to face it. So I just, you know, left it undone. What was so emotional? Losing him broke me really, really bad. That was the first time I ever been with somebody that actually cared about me. 
That was the first time, I mean, I met them and they loved me. I li I've lived with Miss Dolores too, but that was the first time that I actually, you know, met a man that cared for me and had my best interest at heart. It was too much for me. So I just, I left it alone and left it unnoticed. And it was too late. We didn't have, I mean, Florida, you know, you can only do but so much. It's not, you know, many things that you can go through to try to get DNA done for somebody that's deceased. So it was even a hard time. The other man, uh, we had some things going on for us, court issues with our children, with our two children. And um, they had to be DNA tested. So I had Malachi DNA tested too, which came out to be 99.9% .9 not his. So that's how I know for sure he's not the other guy's. 99.9% .9 not his? Yes. I thought it'd be 0%. I can say for certain I've never received a result that says that someone's 99.9% .9 not um, the five. I don't know. I don't know, Your Honor. That's what my paper says. Okay, I just want to show you something. Mm -hmm. When I get a DNA laboratory result, there is always the mother, the child, and the alleged father. Mm -hmm. When I get a result, we talk about the probability of paternity. That means how probable is it that he is the father? The probability of paternity of 0% means he's not the father. In the case of Smith versus Laster Hicks, when it comes to three-year-old Jakari, it has been determined by this court the percentage of relatedness between Ms. Dolores Smith and Jacory is 0.00%. You are not Thank you. related. Thank you. Um, I apologize. I assumed it was his, but I do thank you for the closure. That's my main purpose. Ms. Hicks, you were extremely emotional. And then when I read the result, you're not at all surprised. You just say thank you. Mm -hmm. Do you know who your child's father is? Yeah. So my point is this then. Why would you put Miss Smith and her daughter through this drama, Thanks. drama, without just saying from the beginning, when it comes to four-year-old Malachi Laster, it has been determined by this court the percentage of relatedness between Ms. Dolores Smith and Malachi Laster is 0.00%. You are not related. Oh, wow. Ooh. Ooh. I'm very sorry. Ooh. Both of them have put me through all of this and my daughter. All of it. For what? You need to sit down, Miss Smith. You, can, you may have a seat if you'd like. I know you're so upset. There are no small claims in this court. That's why we don't play no games. Miss Laster, you really do look shocked. I am. I am. Do you know who Malachi's father is? I'm gonna ask you the same thing I asked Miss Hicks. Those were the only two people I remember sleeping with at a time. Do you think there is some way you misread the previous test? If you saw 99.9... I did see that number. That would say that there would be a probability of paternity. I don't know. 